Now on Friday Night Lights, the bell game round two, the rematch that went down in the very first ever playoff showdown between Brawley and Central. Plus, the Imperial Tigers in La Jolla looking to become the second Imperial Valley League team to reach a CIF Division semifinal round. And one team is left standing in Yuma, how the Yuma Catholic Shamrocks fared on the road at St. Mary's with a home playoff game on the line. Plus, we have Friday Night Lights, Cole Johnson and Vanessa Gungora live in San Diego with game updates and post-game interviews. Friday Night Lights starts right now. Good evening. You got the chills after the, the whole oh, yeah. intro? I got the chills going <laughs> on this one, and no better time than the postseason to have those chills. Welcome to week 13, lucky number 13 of Friday Night Lights. I'm Scott Gross. And I'm Luis Lopez. Lots of playoff action to get to tonight, including round two of the Bell Game. That's Even right. higher stakes this time around. <laughs> we'll get to that in a hot minute, but first we're going to send you out to live to La Jolla, where Friday Night Lights Cole Johnson is live with an update on the Imperial Tigers. Hello, Cole. You can say hi to Cole. Yeah, Cole, what's going <laughs> hey guys, on, my man? It's an incredible <laughs> what a night here. Playoff Friday football here from the Denny and Jeff Jacobs Athletic Complex in La Jolla. The Imperial Tigers are actually driving right now. They just got sacked. It's now fourth down. They took a 21-13 lead literally about three minutes ago. Everyone thought in the building thought this game was over, but Bishops busted off a long touchdown pass. They tied it up with a two-point conversion. Now Imperial driving. They just got sacked, as I said, but an unbelievable second half. We went into the half at seven. They're driving right behind me if you look right here they just called a timeout it looks like they're gonna take a punt we have some video I took earlier where we, uh, we got a touchdown um, after a long run by the freshman Rashad Robinson and that led to a Seth Shaw touchdown run from the freshman to the senior in the end zone that gave them the lead but it's gone back and forth in an unbelievable second half here and it looks like if we take a look Imperial is going to punt this thing away there's only 51 seconds left so stay tuned we'll be right back here for the post game and we'll let you know how this thing turns out we might be going to overtime guys Scott and Luis, it's getting crazy here. <laughs> crazy night. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll stay in La Jolla where the Palo Verde Yellow Jackets season keeps cooking with great crowd on hand support. Last year's Division 5 champs taking on La Jolla Country Day. Actually, the Division 5 champs in 2016. Palo Verde would receive the ball first. And Matthew Robertson taking the handoff around the edge, picking up the first down into Torrey's territory. It's going to be Xavier Bajareno next taking the handoff. Cuts back inside. Seems like he gets dragged down, but coming out of the muddles, the kid with over 1,300 yards chugging all the way in space down to the two-yard line. Pull down. That sets up this. Marcus Macon bounces into the end zone easily for the game's first score, capping off a four-play, 57-yard drive in the first two minutes. 7-0 Jackets on the Tories' first drive, moving into Palo Verde territory, but on fourth down, Jaden Mangini, the quarterback, trying to take it himself. Uh-uh, not going to go in. You're swarmed by the Jackets. Very next play, you can't stop. The Imperial Valley's leading rusher, not Bajareno, but Macon again hitting the hole, and he is loose, 65 yards to the house. Palo Verde jumps out 14-0 in the lead. We don't have a score yet, but they jumped out big early. Over to Golden, Fe Golden Eagle Field in Escondido now. Vincent Memorial looking to keep their season alive as they take on the Classical Academy Caymans. We begin in the first quarter. Third and ten here for the Scots quarterback, Jacobo Elias. Takes a snap, rolls out of the pocket, and he's going to find his wide out Armando Apodaca downfield 30 yards on the pass play there now. On second and ten, Elias with it again. He steps up in the pocket, and he's quickly going to find Roberto Carranza, who catches this for a seven-yard gain along with a Scots first down. Now some false starts will push the Scots back here on fourth and eight. Elias fires it down to Apodaca in the end zone, but it's incomplete. Vincent Memorial turns it over on down, so now Classical Academy with the ball. They go for it on fourth and eight as well with the Caymans getting it to Dante Henricks, who takes this towards the sideline, jukes a Scott, and heads upfield all the way to the Vincent Memorial four-yard line. Just moments later, the Caymans would end up punching it in for an easy touchdown here. They strike first to go up 7-0 following the extra point. This game, however, still going on. And uh, we continue our live coverage. We'll send it out to Vanessa Gengora, who is at San Pasquale High School. 
That's right, we have her live at Golden Eagle Field. That's a great job. Roman Manani. Kick it here. That's right, Luis and Scott. And after that touchdown you just saw later in the second quarter, the Camlins with the ball again and extended their lead 14-0 with an eight-yard running touchdown. And then with two minutes left in the half, they came back and scored a 43. Sorry, excuse me. This, they came in, scored a 43-yard field goal to extend their lead 17-0 at half. And Vincent Memorial's coach, Arturo Rosas, told me at half, it's now a mental game. They made a lot of minor mistakes. And in the third quarter, they came out and actually recovered a fumble by Emiliano Lopez. But then the Hoco quarterback, Jacobo Elias, did throw an interception later on the third, which led the Caymans to yet another touchdown and a two-point conversion to make it 25-0. I will have Jacobo Elias with me later on tonight. Back to you guys in the studio. Memorial having a tough time tonight. Hey, we're just getting started. We're just right. cooking. <laughs> we got more coming your way after this quick water break. Paul Benzel believes everyone should experience the comfort of phenomenal service and the joy of exceptionally well-made jewelry. That's why we do all of our jewelry repairs and manufacture all of our custom jewelry in-house. This allows us to guarantee a high-quality experience for every person who does business with us. And we continue to improve so that we can provide you with the highest quality jewelry and service. Paul Benzel, exceptional jewelry, outstanding service. Struggling with the Battle of the Bulge? Going to the gym is time consuming and cost a fortune. Introducing Slim Cycle, the two in one fitness breakthrough that gives you twice the results in half the time. Just take a seat and start pedaling your way to a slimmer you right in your own home. One machine that combines a full cardio blast workout with arm resistance to sculpt lean muscle mass as you pedal your way thin. People love working out on this bike. It adds the cardio with the strength training. And when you put that combination together, that's when we get the most increased benefit from workout. Only Slim Cycle transforms from the upright to recumbent position. With two and a half inches of superior cushion and memory foam backrest, it'll be the most comfortable ride of your life, guaranteed. The seat adjusts to fit anyone from 4 foot 11 to 6 foot 4 and holds up to 300 pounds. There's eight levels of magnetic resistance and a super smooth pedaling system to sculpt your body in as little as 10 minutes a day. Even just 10 minutes on the Slim Cycle, I feel good. I feel like I've accomplished something. And Slim cycle is completely silent with large digital display and built-in heart rate monitor it tracks all your information right at your fingertips plus it even folds in half and is on wheels for easy storage traditional bikes are uncomfortable and cost a fortune now slim cycle can be yours for the factory direct price of only six payments of 39.99 but wait order in the next 15 minutes and we'll take one entire payment off we'll also include 10 free fun downloadable videos featuring live fitness classes plus the adjustable slim away belt free wrap it around your waist for a slimmer look or to maximize your workout we'll even ship it to you absolutely free slim cycle also comes with a 100 percent satisfaction guarantee you can get the entire slim cycle program 10 downloadable workouts slim away belt plus free shipping for the incredible price of just five payments of 39.99 so order now call 1-800-684-0628 that's 1-800-684-0628 or visit buyslimcycle.com so call 1-800-684-0628 Sports, weeknights at 10 p.m. Sponsored only by Papa Son Rice Bowl. You're watching Friday Night Lights on KYMA. And it's one of the biggest games every year in the desert southwest, but now the stake's a whole lot higher. Yeah, that's right, Scott. Round two of the Bell game this time over at Cal Jones Field in El Centro. Could Brawley avenge their heartbreaking loss from two weeks ago, or would it be the Spartans coming out on top yet again? Let's take a look at Cal Jones Field for the rematch. The Central student section going absolutely bonkers. Brawley in town a little shorthanded, looking to turn the tables on senior running back Charlie Sullivan and the Central Spartan Central coach Rookie Pena looking for his 50th win as a Spartan head coach. Opening drive, Spartans on the move inside the 10 on fourth and four. It's Charlie Sullivan with the direct snap, and he sprints to the left for a first down inside the five, down to the four. Moments later on third and goal, it's Sullivan again. A little counter to the right, and he speeds right by sophomore Max Gutierrez. Spartans on the board. They add the extra point. They're up first, 7-0. After a brawly punt, still 7-0 to start the second quarter. More from Charlie. 
You got the feeling it wasn't a matter of if, but a matter of when he bust a big one. So close right there. Now with nine minutes left in the half, another direct stab to Charlie. And exit stage left, and he is loose. Sullivan is off to the chain for a 70-yard score. Central adds the kick. They're up 14. Nothing looks like a rout. The band loving it. Yeah, well, not if Riley head coach John Self and sophomore quarterback Matt Gutierrez have a say in it. Two minutes later now, Gutierrez is going to find senior Daniel Camillo on the 31-yard score right between two defenders. Unreal, beautiful catch there. Brawley on the board. Kick is good. They go up 14, excuse me, not up. 14-7 Central now, and that would be your score heading into the locker room. We go over to the third quarter. Brawley's slippery sophomore, Matt Gutierrez, slithers through the defenders and fires downfield to fellow sophomore Brandon Porras inside the 10. Next play. This is going to be on the read option. It's a give to another sophomore, Matthew Moreno. Looking like last year's 23, Isaiah Young. We are tied at 14. Are you kidding me? The kids from Brawley making this a game. Did I mention Charlie, Charlie Sullivan yet at all? Uh, here he is with those sweet moves for a first down uh, in, the, in the central uh, 35. And again, from uh, here he goes. It's Charlie inside, then Charlie outside, then Charlie with the speed, the moves. He's going to start running over people. It's going to be a 65-yard score to match his 71, 70-yard score earlier. Third touchdown of the night. Central back on top, 21-14. Wildcats looking to respond. Macudiras rolls, fires right. This is snatched by Central's Arturo Estrada. That is the first turnover of the game. Cats defense would hold to the fourth. Brawley botched a punt, giving Central great field position. Damian Rodriguez on the quick pass, faked out yours truly. Find Sergio Bubba Garcia, and that all but clinches it. Central wins 28-14 behind Charlie Sullivan's 259 yards rushing, three scores. We caught up with him after the game. I'm just trying to work my butt off every time to help represent my team and help, help, help go as far as possible as we can this year. I'm just going to go back to work on Monday. Saturday consists of watching film already, but we're, we're going back to work. Now after the game, Central Athletic Director Joshua Wise presented head coach rookie Pena with the game ball for winning his 50th game overall as a Spartan head coach. Pena shared what it means to him and the community of El Centro. Obviously, this says a tremendous amount of our coaching staff. You know, the majority of coaching staff, they've been with me for the last six years. And again, this is a coaching staff, 50th uh, victory. And I can't say enough about the coaching staff here at Central. Obviously, you know, for our alumni, it's, it's bragging rights. You know, and for the city of El Central, it's bragging rights. So again, it, it's bigger than uh, the football program. It's a whole community. Congrats, Coach Pena, to you and your staff. Central will be at home again next wow. week and face the winner of San Marcos and Ramona, who are currently playing tonight. Yeah, now don't go anywhere. Much more to come in this one, including a look at the Yuma schools, helmet props, and our out-of-town scoreboard. We may just throw those helmet props out and go right back to uh, San Diego with Vanessa and Cole. Stick That's around true. and see what we do right after this. I'm Jerry Marquez, outside linebacker for Yuma Catholic High School, and you're watching Friday Night Lights. Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Cole Johnson. Tomorrow on Sunrise, Election Week continues to carry on with votes rolling in by the minute. Several local and state races too close to call. We follow some races like the Calexico City Council and more as locals continue to keep an eye on the results as they pour in. Plus the rematches here. Bell game revolutionized into the postseason with a trip to the CIF semifinals on the line. Brawley and Central going at it. We'll have highlights and more tomorrow on Sunrise. It's time to relax in style with the best values during the Black Friday sale at More Furniture. This three-piece pull-out sectional with storage chaise has room for the whole family to stretch out at only $19.95. Or choose this dual-power sectional with storage, cup holder console, and plush fabric in two color options for only $19.95. No matter what you choose, you'll always get the best price at More Furniture during our Black Friday sale. Preview all sales specials online at morefurniture.com. Come and see what everyone is talking about. If you're looking for a new Hyundai, then Imperial Valley Hyundai is the place for you. Come and check out Imperial Valley's premier Hyundai dealer for your vehicle service or your new ride. Come test out some of Hyundai's most exciting models, including the all-new Hyundai Santa Fe. Feel confident with America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000 miles, and owner's assurance when you drive a new Hyundai. Great selection, great service, great prices, and great people who care about you. Serving South and Central California. Experience the difference at Imperial Valley Hyundai. Visit IVHyundai.com. The new Miracle Blade World Class 2012 Professional Series is the best set of knives you'll ever own. 
the spectacular World Class 2012 Series, over a $300 value for just $39.95. But we're just getting started. We'll send you a complete second set of Miracle Blades for free. That's right, another entire set, a $300 value for free. Just pay shipping and processing. And we're still not done. If you're one of the first 500 callers, we'll send you two additional Miracle Blade World Class Slicers. That's an additional $80 value, totally free. Miracle Blade World Class is also guaranteed for life. We'll replace any damaged knife at any time for any reason for free forever. Over $600 worth of knives for just one payment of $39.95. Don't miss this opportunity. Call right now or just log on to MiracleBlade.com. Welcome back, everybody. Let's shine a little light on some of those human yeah. schools, shall we? Yes, sir. The rivalry between Kofa and Gila Ridge went down at Veterans Memorial Stadium on Thursday. And, hey, a big, friend, a big thank you to our friend Ernesto Camposano for sharing these shots for us. Gila Ridge rolled at home 59-6. to, oh, to six, Well, they scored 59-6. Yeah, 59-6. Yeah. There we go. Hawks rolled over the Kings. Steven Navas had four touchdowns through the air to lead the Hawks. Braden Faber had two kickoff returns for scores. Gila Ridge wraps up their season at a record of 4-6 and six in Coach Jessica Slaughter's second season. Kofa ends 1-9, and nine, but that won a very important one as they got that elusive win. We're going to see if the Imperial Tigers get their elusive win and trying to advance to the semifinals. Cole Johnson live from La Jolla once again. Did it go to overtime, Cole? Scott and Luis, we're in overtime right now. Unbelievable finish there. After that touchdown I told you about for Bishops, we are tied at 21 after the two-point conversion. Imperial actually drove down the field after a pick that got them within the 20-yard line. And Ethan Gonzalez kick with one second left was just wide left. So we went to overtime. Imperial has the ball right now. They're right behind me. They're at about the 12-yard uh, line. Uh, they're about the 17-yard line. Each team gets the ball at the 25. If Imperial scores here and they get a stop, they're going to win this game. And it's going to be the furthest they've made it to the semifinals. And and at least the latest history we've seen since the early 2000s. They've never gone past that second round dating back to 2018. We were hoping we get Coach David Shaw on a player after a win. They just came short, so we're in overtime right now. Um, be sure to stick stick with us. We'll have the update on the website tonight and uh, uh, sound bites from coaches tomorrow. So, guys, back to you. A wild one here in La Jolla. Wild one. He's enjoying his time in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. I bet he is. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Vanessa Gangora did not have the same kind of outcome with the yeah, uh, Vincent no. Memorial Scott tonight. Is she, are we ready to go to uh, Vanessa? Yeah, let's take her out right now. She's got a very <laughs> special guest. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm here with Vincent Memorial's quarterback, Jacobo Elias. Elias was a tough loss today, 32-0, but what went wrong in today's game? I think we, we couldn't stop the pressure. We couldn't do our split formation like we wanted to. We couldn't get the ball at the rate of time, and we couldn't do much at their half. We couldn't score. You almost had it when they had that fumble and the fumble return, and then the interception. Did it, did it make you come down? Did you want to get, like, how did you guys want to come back and make it happen again? Well, we wanted to come back stronger, make some big plays, but the blitz, uh, the pressure, we couldn't stop it. It didn't allow us to do so. And those, you're a junior, so you still have a whole other season. How does this fuel you for the next season to come out and get ready? Well, it fuels me a lot. You know, we lost the second round. I'm looking forward to winning the championship next year. I'm talking to my teammates right now, and we're going and ready to train starting next year. Well, good luck, and honestly, you did amazing today. Here I have Jacopo Elias with Vincent Morial, quarterback, reporting live in Escondido at San Pasco High School. Back to you guys. Thank you very much. Great job, Vanessa. Great job, Paul. Yes. Let's leave everybody now with our scoreboard that we have here to end the show here tonight. That's what we're going to do. Everybody who played tonight gets a helmet prop from us. Yeah. Our scoreboard <laughs> right now. Cibola lost to Macy yesterday, 49-14. to We wrapped up the uh, Gila Ridge game. They all win over Copa, 59-6. to We'll flip it over one more time. There we go. Take a look at what we have. Brawley and Central Imperial. We don't have that score. One more time, I want to show you Uma Catholic. Uh, they had a big win tonight versus uh, St. Mary's, 